up guys? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm putting on the Taste 5 for the G35. This is the base bank for Bach, Taste 5 for the G35. Resonated, you can see right in there. You know, keep the rust minimal. And yeah, car is on the jack stand. Typical VQ fashion. <laughs> this is rounded. So I'm using as a socket extractor. It's really cheap. It's like $15 so from um, AliExpress. So you just bang it in there. And yeah. Pretty much you can get all the bolts off from under the car. Other than the, the one on the top. Then you get it from the engine bay. And the, the one from the bottom, one is on the side where is the white pipe goes and one is to the front of the engine. So pretty much you just have your bar. So that's the flange of the cat. Here's the cat. So once you get those two bolts off and you get the bracket off, go into the transmission. And then um, these are the two bolts as well. And you get these all two sensor plugs off which is pretty easy just a clip right there and then you get the you're moving on to the cat um the front part you can see the bolt right here that nut is already off so you get it from a long extension from the back that's pretty easy and this one you pretty much can just get from the side um right here same on the other side and only the top one right right there you need to do it from the engine bay or if you can if you have um the swivel socket you can get it from underneath but yeah all right guys so the cat is ready to come out Just need a wiggle wiggle <laughs> <laughs> That's 500 bucks right there. <laughs> <laughs> after after Zaya muscling out the O2 sensor, eh? Put a bit of fastener and stuff on there. So next time it's not seized on there. Okay. Straight on for overall. <laughs> then just screwing it in. Alright, so if you can get it off under the car, if you have an O2 socket, get it off under the car. But we don't have O2 socket, so we use one of these. Um, the other one, we have to bash in the heat shield a bit to get it off. But this one, hoping we don't. Um, but yeah, these will do the work. You just have to have the muscle. Just don't do this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna start it up. Oh, I was gonna put on the battery. Oh yeah, true. So it's no cats, <laughs> nothing, just oh, straight no, from the header. Yeah, just straight the throttle body. Oh, what about the uh, airflow, airflow meter? Oh yeah, it's right there. I wonder if this is gonna start. I'll find out. <laughs> All right. Whew. I'm gonna have blowing eardrums after this. <gasps> Like Cam. You know why? You know why? Let me try to start again. I didn't turn it off, it was because of the airflow. Cause cause you don't have airflow, airflow sensor yeah. and you don't have O2 sensor either. Holy man. Shit. That is 
madness. That, that, that really? is. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Boy, you smell that? Yeah. Oh, smells good. Oh, well, nice belt. So good having getting to the one concrete, not having to lie on like wet grasses. You do stuff. So I'm used to. Yeah, wet grasses annoying. Yeah. Getting soaked on the back. Yeah. All right, so. Installing is pretty straightforward. You're just putting everything in reverse order. So it's all on there now. And um, we're gonna have a cold startup. <laughs> Let's go. Minus the bow, minus the bow. yeah, minus the bow. It sounds good. A little bit, a little rip. This is after the install of the test pipes, the test pipes are in and this is just on the factory thing just to be sound check what it sounds like. So it's got, definitely sounds a lot louder, definitely a lot good uh, popping burbles from it. 